So what we're going to do is, uh, I've, I've raised up the dehumidifier and put it at a slight downward angle so that we can have the gravity fed drain uh, at a, a downward angle. Then we're going to run two hoses, one into lane three, one into lane two behind me. I think the right thing to do, believe it or not, is pretty simple. Grab this. Has some leftover uh, uh, plastic that we use to separate uh, the fish tanks, the different sized fish, and uh, I zip tied them. And what I'm going to do, take a trash bag, black trash bag, duct tape it along the side here, and run it down over this, seal all of it so it's a nice uh, airtight seal, and then connect the orange hose directly into this. Do that on each side. The big, biggest concern I have here is that I am significantly choking the airflow. Uh, so placing the fan, the, the large uh, circulation fan in the right place is going to be key. And I want to think about that for a little bit before I figure out where I'm going to do that. Okay, so I think I got the plan kind of figured out here. Uh, kind of recapping, we've built up a little stand, uh, just four by fours. Oh, damn, my knee's killing me. Uh, I actually broke a bone off of my knee, that little knob. You know, that's right on most people below their kneecap. I actually broke mine uh, as part of this project. Uh, now it's just kind of floating around in there. But uh, it's almost healed. Every time I lay on it, it hurts. So I should put knee pads in these uh, things because I'm too lazy to actually go put them on myself. Anyway, back to this. Uh, we built up a small little stand, just 4x4s and a 2x6 to create the right angle. And uh, the concern that I had was that there wasn't going to be enough airflow because I'm putting a choke point in. Kind of like in your uh, HVAC system in your house, the same problem exists, though you may not know it. Inside of the big ductwork, you know, 24 inch by 24 inch usually square ductwork that you got, the galvanized stuff that's in your garage somewhere, um, there's an a air exchanger inside of it. And that's where you get your air conditioning from or where your heat pump brings heat to uh, to heat up the air as it's circulated through your house. So this is the same thing. We're going to create a tunnel, essentially, just like in a house. Um, and I'm going to put an air handler right in the middle of it that's going to help remove uh, the humidity from the air. So the idea, here's our large flat plastic bag. Those are going to go over the side. We're going to duct tape them along. And then we're going to uh, use this structure to create some structure in the bottom of this so that we can create a connection point to the orange tubing. To help with the choke point issue, we're actually going to remove uh, this panel from uh, this dehumidifier. It really only serves a purpose to direct air, kind of spread it out when it's coming out of this, and we don't need that. So I'm going to take that off. And then I, I looked in here, you can actually see where um, the air handler is right in the middle of this and the actual sides are open. So again, I'm hoping it's just like uh, the HVAC system. I am not an HVAC expert, so I think after I'm done with this, I'm going to start becoming at least knowledgeable in it. I think there'll be enough space in there to actually allow air to flow through. Not all of it's going to get dehumidified, of course, but as it starts cycling, we should see a fairly large improvement. So, let's start. I want to save these screws. I want to save these screws because uh, I'm going to reuse two of them right here. This is the control panel for the unit. Uh oh. And you should really have magnetic uh, screw heads. Oh, there it is. Anyway, I'm going to save them because I'm going to actually, I want to see this control panel. There it goes. It just fell down. Uh, so I can actually see how much humidity is in here and turn the unit on and off. So we're going to play with that as we get going here. Get this off. There we go. That's off. And then, there's our control panel. Actually, I think I'm probably just going to maybe make a little stand for it right up here. Uh, that actually worked pretty nice, huh? Nothing like taking apart a brand new dehumidifier. I'm sure I just voided the warranty. So if you try to do this, remember, you're probably going to avoid the warranty. Okay. 
Now, Project fell a lot of trial and error. You know, so many people have done this particular thing, so it's not like you can go out and watch a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do it. But we're getting there, right? There we go. There's duct tape. If you don't have duct tape on Mars, not very smart. That's useful for everything. Two on there. That bottom side of it is pinched by the weight of the unit sitting on top of it down below here. So uh, hopefully that'll hold it in place. Well, looks like I need to make that a little bit tighter, so I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll come right back. Alright, so we got to make this tighter. You cut off the zip ties that I had on there. Zip ties would be another good thing to have if you're up on Mars. They're just useful for so many different things. Size this here, the right size. Looks like it right there. And zip tie. I think the type of person that goes to Mars is going to be, have to be the type of person that is comfortable taking on challenges by themselves. I know for this project, it's been a challenge to do a lot of this stuff because it's just me. Um, you know, everybody has a full-time job doing something in their life. And uh, it's hard to ask people, hard to ask people to come up and help do this when you know that they've got so much going on. On Mars, it'll be worse. There won't be anybody else there to ask. So if you send a bunch of people up, they're only used to 
I don't know how to put it bluntly, living in the city and having everything handed to them, not used to hard work, think that they can just call everyone and there'll be somebody there to help. Kind of set yourself up for failure. Now that said, you can't make it through life without other people. And if you do, what's the point? It'll be a very lonely life. just need to put enough zip ties in to keep this thing from coming undone and its only purpose is to add structure. Structure so I can attach it to the orange hose and attach the uh, plastic bag over the top of it. Never done this. Hope I do it right. Sometimes I feel like MacGyver. I love that show, the original. Richard Dean Anderson, he's the best. Stargate, probably his best work. Put one there to hold it in place while I see if it's going to work or not. This, for example, is a good moment when you really need somebody else. Going underneath, doing it by how it feels. Looks like I got it. I 
I've had people offer to come out and help me when I do this type of stuff, and I've always been hesitant, and I'm still hesitant. Sometimes you can get too many chefs in a kitchen, you know what I mean? And when you're figuring something out for the first time, I mean, not too many people have done something like this. You get lots of chefs and lots of different ideas of how to make an omelet. Well, I like to figure out how to make my omelet first, and then we can compare recipes afterwards. Sometimes more people does not make for a faster solution. Okay, well I'm pretty happy with that. That turned out nice. So I'm going to go do the other side and then we'll move on to the next step.